Hey guys, welcome back to the Living Waters Farm. This is Billy, and in this video, we're going to be doing a do-it-yourself, turning an IBC tote into a fish tank. Now, I've done other videos uh, in the past, DIYs, and that's when we cut the first one over here. We turned that into an IBC tank, and we did that in this video. But right now, everything's kind of dirty. It's uh, spring here in Pennsylvania. So it's time to do some spring cleaning. And what we're gonna be doing for our particular setup is we're gonna get rid of this pool. And we have got three new IBC tanks, tote tanks to replace them. So in this video, we're gonna DIY how to turn your IBC tank tote into a tank. Now the difference in this video from my other video, uh, the other video when the way I cut it, I lost a lot of capacity. We lost actually, hold on. I'm able to get the tote tank in a water in this tank and had I cut it properly I could have got it probably another 100 gallons so these are uh, what 300 gallon totes and we want to make sure we're able to get at least the 275 if not really close to the full 300 gallons so as you can see I've already got this one cut and the difference is in the last video, we cut out this portion right here and we cut the tote down to this level right here. Well, we lost all this in volume. So cutting it this way, it's basically the same, but we've added increased volume. So we're gonna be doing the same thing for this tank and this one and then we'll be installing them in the garage in another video. So uh, just real quick, I'll show you how to cut them. It's really, all you do is just take these little cross beams out, which I've already taken this one out. And it, if you take this one out, you could actually slide the toad out and get to it better. But for me, I like to just go ahead and keep it and I will cut around. Here, I'll show you if I can. the saw can't get you can just get any old saw I just grabbed a hacksaw is the first thing I could find it'll cut through the plastic no problem That's basically it. Now, I've been working with these tools for a long time and please don't follow my examples. You should always have safety glasses, gloves, and whatever the appropriate safety equipment is. With that being said, here we go. So now I've converted that tank into a you know, full capacity 300 gallon tank now that I can continue to raise my fish in. And I'll be plumbing the three of these together uh, using the 55 gallon barrels here as filters. Plus I've got some other filters. It's gonna be overly filtered water, but in it I'm going to be raising my, my, uh, my tilapia in one. I've got my goldfish feeders that I'm breeding for coloration, you know, for, uh, for uh, backyard pond fish. 
and then my koi. I'll be raising in one until they're big enough to go out into our koi tank, koi pond that we're building out in the back, which you'll see all those in further videos. All right, guys, well, that's about it for this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave comments. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. There'll be more videos here coming up soon where I'll be plumbing all these together and doing a DIY for those. That's it for this one. We'll see you in the next video. Peace out.